Hi, and welcome to our series on I GCSE Economics. Unit 2, Part 5. In today's episode, we will be learning about XCD. Cross elasticity of demand. If you haven't seen our previous videos, please click on the card above. Elasticities are how much one factor changes when you change another. For instance, how much does quantity change when you change the price? Let's talk about XCD, cross elasticity of demand. Cross price elasticity, XCD, measures the responsiveness of demand for good X. Following a change in the price of a related good Y, XCD is calculated using the formula percentage change in quantity demanded of good X divided by the percentage change in the price of good Y. If XED is positive, then an increase in the price of one good causes an increase in the quantity demanded of another good. What kind of goods would have this relationship with one another? Well, if the price of chicken rose, I could see myself buying more beef instead. So, we can see that substitutes would have a positive XED. On the other hand, if XED is negative, that would imply an increase in the price of one good leads to a decrease in the quantity demanded of another good. This would make sense if the goods were used together, for instance hot dogs and hot dog buns. If hot dog prices rose, we would expect the quantity of hot dogs and hot dog buns sold to fall. We can see that complements have a negative XED. Unrelated products have a zero cross elasticity, for example the effect of changes in taxi fares on the market demand for cheese. Please subscribe, like and share, it really helps us out. And check out the quizzes in the description below and check into the Google Classroom if you've got any questions. Graphing XED for complements, we can see for close complements, a small fall in price of A cause a large rise in demand for B. For weak complements, a large drop in price of E causes only a small rise in demand for F. Graphing XED for substitutes, we can see for close substitutes, a small rise in price of X causes a large rise in demand for Y. Also, for weak substitutes, a large rise in price of S leads to a small increase in demand for T. XED is useful to firms when planning promotions and advertising, or when planning mergers and takeovers. For instance, banks know that their account holders also make investments through brokerages, i.e. the goods are complements. Thus, as soon as financial deregulation made it possible for banks to offer investment services in Canada, all of the big banks bought brokerage houses to encourage their existing bank customers to entrust their investments with them as well. Thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe like and share. We hope to see you next time.